you guys it's Karen and I'm here with yet another oil from The Ordinary. This is The Ordinary Bee Oil. So it's their own special oil blend and it's nice that they've come out with a blended oil rather than just a new oil. Um, but I first want to talk about the fact that in the last video that I did about their chia seed oil I mentioned that I had used their chia seed oil and it had a fishy smell and then I had used this oil and thought that it had a fishy smell. Um, but since using this alone for a few nights, I don't notice any fishy smell, which is a bit weird. And I thought, oh, maybe it was just to do with the chia seed oil. So I asked my husband to smell it and he doesn't notice any fishy smell. But it wouldn't be so odd if this one did have a fishy smell because this is a blended oil with micro algae extracts in it and so that may cause it to have a fishy smell so i just wanted to let you know that so that you were aware you may get some odor fish from it <laughs> um however do you remember the the marine hyaluronic acid i did a review of that and in there i didn't discuss the smell and a few people had mentioned it in the comments or you didn't mention anything about the smell because i didn't smell anything from that but with that one a few people found it to smell of fish so i'm sorry that the first few minutes of this video is discussing fishy smells but it is what it is just be aware you may or may not get a smell of fish but i currently can't smell anything fishy from this oil okay so this is eight pounds 70 from the ordinary and i'm going to read you what they say it says the bee oil solubilizes a purified form of microalgae in a blend of squalane and oils of marula argon baobab i think i've heard of baobab fruit i've no idea if i'm saying that right i'm probably not patua brazil nut Inca Inchi, Rosehip and Borage to support healthy skin defense, to enhance radiance, to quench free radicals and help balance pro-irritant mediators. Um, this formula imparts a golden green hue and a mild herbal odor as a result of its high microalgae concentration. Like I said, there's no herbal odor to me at all and my husband couldn't smell it either. It shows you on the website, there's a picture of it with a bright green color. I don't see a bright green color. It's a sort of dull green color. It's similar to a lot of other oils and it leaves no color on the skin as far as I could see. And I checked my pillow this morning. I used this on my skin last night and didn't put anything on top of it. And I checked my pillow and there is no staining on the pillow at all. Um, but it, it doesn't leave any color on the skin, I don't think. So for me, it doesn't, did it say something about enhances radiance? I didn't find that it did that. So obviously the ordinary do offer marula oil, argan oil, rosehip oil and borage oil, but they don't offer the bayo, whatever you call it, <laughs> patua, brazil nut and inca inchi. And I've not really heard of any of those oils. I did notice that there's not a mention of this being organic or um, cold pressed. So I don't know whether the other oils um, that they've used that they don't offer are not organic and cold pressed. I don't know whether they are using their own organic cold pressed oils. I don't know if that's even important to people, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, I think it's great that they are offering a blended oil and I really like this. It is not too thick and not too thin. I don't like, out of those oils that they have included there, I have tried the Marula and I don't like it at all. I find it way too thick and I found that it broke me out. I do like the Argan oil. I do like the Rosehip oil and I do like the Borage oil. And the other ones that they don't offer, like I said, I haven't tried at all. So the only one I don't like is the Marula oil. Um, and I would say this is closest to, mm, it's closest to maybe the argan oil, um, but it's a little bit thinner than any oil I've tried from the ordinary previously. Um, and I like that. It doesn't feel, it feels like the lightest oil I've tried other than squalane, because squalane is more like a dry oil. Oh no, actually squalane, I forgot about squalane. I don't like the squalane oil. So I don't like squalane and I don't like marula. The squalane I don't like because it feels I just think it's got a weird feeling. It's, I don't like dry oils. They just feel odd to me. Um, and the marula is kind of the opposite. It just feels too thick um, and like it's clogging up my skin. 
and this one just feels like a very very light oil and I really like the way it feels on my skin and I was happy to leave it on my skin without putting a moisturizer on top and that's very unusual for me I normally like to put a night cream on top of a moisturizer to take away the sort of um, oiliness <laughs> or the you know the the film that is left on your skin but this sunk in enough that I didn't feel that I needed to put something to seal it in. I probably will do in future. Um, I specifically didn't last night because I wanted to test it on the pillow to see if there was a stain. Um, but it, it's definitely the lightest of their oils in my opinion. I do have a couple of little breakouts going on here that I've mentioned before could be down to hormonal issues, but also could be down to this because when I had marula oil that did break me out a little bit as well so just be aware of that if you are acne prone. Um, there's not really anything else to tell you about this. I don't feel, as some people are, are saying that you know the ordinary are just bringing out too much and I said myself in the last video about the chia seed oil that I felt that that was just brought out for the sake of bringing out another oil because there didn't seem to be anything unique about it and somebody had said to me there was another company that had a really expensive one and they listed all the benefits but the benefits were really just you know softened glowing skin there's nothing really gritty or amazing about the chia seed oil that I can see um, but this one, what's nice about it is if you don't know which oil to go for, if you're not looking for a specific oil or a specific benefit, but you just have dry skin or you're just looking for something a little bit extra to add into your skin, this would be a really nice choice because it feels really nice. It's not too oily. Um, and I think it would be a really good one to, to start off with, you know, because like I said, it's a blend of all the all, all the nice ones. It's got rosehip in there. It's got argan in there. It's got borage in there. Um, ones that have got some that are established oils, if you like. Um, so I would recommend it if you fancy it. It's definitely a good one to try, um, but not for anything specific other than maybe dry skin. And I would just say if you've got oily acne prone skin, be be aware that if you use it and you you break out it could be that that's everything to tell you about this i will leave all of my makeup in the description thank you very much for watching today and i'll speak to you again soon